Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. In my shop we've had a mouse infestation. Uh, I caught two of them here, but uh, you know, some time ago I made a game using mice. And after that at the, I was at the Utah Wood Turning Symposium and Bert from Canada showed up and tracked me down and showed me a cute little chuck that he'd made specifically to do things like mice. It was a screw chuck and very nice. I had to have one. I got one from him. Uh, but it's time for me to make some mice again. And I thought about that chuck and I thought it would be perfect for this. However, no, not everybody out there has a screw chuck like that. So I decided to go ahead and just do it with a standard equipment. Now, the problem with wood turning and in machining and all kinds of different things is how to hold the work. And so doing a mouse without a screw chuck actually is just an exercise in planning your work and, and pursuing it. So normally you'd have this and you'd want to cut it back and then part it off and then you say, oh, I want a hole for the tail. Well, what if you mount it so that you can drill a hole here first, then mount it in your chuck, then turn it around and turn the rest of it. That would be a solution. But that's not all. Then you've got to hold it while there's holes drilled here, 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 and in the bottom because this actually, this mouse can scurry up a refrigerator quite nicely. So this project is an exercise in mounting. Let's go for it. Let us start with a cylinder of butternut mounted between centers. Since roughing is complete, all I need is to trim the end and cut a mounting tenon with my skew. With the wood secure in my chuck, I can drill a hole that will eventually house the tail. However, for my mounting plan to work, I cannot use an oversized piece of wood. I already have another tenon on this end. I am marking my mouse length minus the tail plus some extra, then part off the section from my mouse. I have to measure to ensure the hole ends somewhere in the body of the mouse and not come clear through the finished mouse. Can you see the mouse yet? That's a tough job, but it's coming. Now the wood is reversed into the chuck again. This would be a very fat mouse. I put him on a diet with my spindle gouge, then switch to my skew for shaping. Sorry, you point up people, but I am a skew point down person. I like my skew because it leaves a much better surface than my spindle gouge, but I do not want to part off my mouse quite yet. I will do some sanding here so that I can use the lathe to power my hand sanding. I'm marking for the eyes and ears now, then drill for the hole that will hold the ear leather, then clean up again from the drilling operation, then apply shellac friction polish. Finally, part off my mouse. This leaves his backside a bit rough. For sanding, 
I have a number two Morse taper quarter inch collet with a drawbar. I'm finding this much more convenient than my Jacobs chuck since my Jacobs chuck would work loose in use. After that, I touch up the shellac again. Shellac is easy to blend to previously finished surfaces. For his eyes, I am not getting fancy. My Sharpie will do fine. Enough amounts for the lathe. There are a few more that I need for the mouse. For this, I will use my wooden clamps. I need a flat on the bottom side of my mouse. With the clamp, I can use the eyes to center the clamp. Then I can use the disc center to make the flat. One more mount to go. This time, I have set the mouse on the new flat on the drill press table, then clamped it with the flat jaws again flat on the table. Then I can flip the whole thing over so I can drill a hole to receive a magnet. The hole needs to be slightly more shallow than the magnet. Now for the CA. The ears are small circles of leather. The tail is another long strip of leather. I found it best to fold the ear in half to insert into the hole with some CA. Again, with the other ear and the tail, Finally, glue a magnet into the base so they can scurry around across the front of the refrigerator. My mouse is ready to scurry away and find something yummy to eat. He was an exercise in mounting both on and off the lathe. Even with different mounts on and off the lathe, a mouse is a quick, fun project. Perhaps one can show up in this year's Chris Ornament Challenge in some form. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends. I appreciate your comments and questions. Every week I make a new wood turning video and add it to my website. Please wear your full face shield. That's for safety anytime the lathe is running. I'll see you next week with another wood turning video.